Rotation modes in Blender. Today I'm going to show you what these are and why you'd want to switch between them. So let me start off with an example. I'm going to animate this rocket and we're going to animate some rotations in here. So I'm going to press I, add in a rotation keyframe, and frame 24. I'm going to rotate this around the Y axis 90 degrees. I'll press R, Y, and then 90. And press I to get our keyframe. You can see our keyframes here, they're in yellow. Go to frame 48, press R, X, 90 degrees. So this rotates around the X axis 90 degrees. Press I. All right, so we have a simple animation here of our rocket rotating and then supposed to be going around the X axis, but see how it looks just a little funny? It doesn't quite look like we wanted it to. I intended it to look something like this, nice and smooth. So this is where our rotation modes come into play. And you can view these in the right tool panel, press N to bring it up. And then we scroll up to the top and we'll see XYZ Euler. Uh, this is where the rotation modes are. You notice how it, it looks like Euler, but it's actually Euler. That's just the way it's pronounced. So there are several different rotation modes and we were in XYZ. Now this defines kind of the order in which rotations are okay or which they won't really cause you any problems. And so notice how we rotated around the y-axis first, and then we rotated around the x-axis. So we would actually want to change this if we wanted it to look smooth. So I'm going to go back to our first frame here. Let's change to y, x, z, Euler. And I'm going to come up here and clear the animation data. Now let's do the same thing we did again. Go to frame 24 and rotate around the y-axis add in a keyframe, go to 48, rotate around the x-axis 90 degrees, add in a keyframe, and let's watch our animation again. There we go, that looks, that looks much more smooth. Now, However, even just rotating around the y-axis and then the x-axis, we can still run into problems. So let's take it one further. Let's go to frame 72, and let's rotate around the y-axis negative 90 degrees, bring it back to where it was. Now if we scrub this animation, it looks a little funny again. It doesn't quite look like it did at first. So we're still having issues. So when this happens, um, our rotations are complex enough that we might need a new rotation mode. Now this is called quaternion. You'll notice there's no angles like there was before. Instead, there's four numbers. These numbers define our rotation. Uh, the math behind it is a little complex. To be honest, I'm not sure I understand it all, um, but it works, um, and that's the important thing. So let's go ahead and do the same thing, clear our animation data, and we're going to rotate one more time. Now let's watch our animation. Now it's close, but something still doesn't look right. Now this isn't the rotation mode that we've seen up here. Uh, the problem is our in interpolation mode. Now we can find that if we go to the dope sheet, press T, and we want to change that to linear so it's smooth between our keyframes. So let's go back and watch it again, and we see that we get the desired result. Everything's smooth, it rotates as we expect it to. Now there's one gotcha with quaternions uh, that at least I've, I've come across. So let's, let's say we wanted to rotate more than 180 degrees. What quaternions do is they'll take the shortest path. So if we wanted to rotate 270 degrees, they would actually rotate 90 degrees the other direction. So let's go to frame 96, and let's say we wanted to rotate in the x direction all the way around to here. Add in a keyframe. Now if we watch this, notice how it takes the, the shortest path. It didn't go the direction we wanted it to. So to correct that, we have to add in keyframes in the middle. So let's go ahead and erase this keyframe. You can do that by Alt-I. And now get our rocket back to where it was. Now let's rotate. Let's rotate halfway. Oops, RX. We'll rotate halfway where we want it to. Press I for rotation. Let's go to keyframe 120 rotate in the x direction the rest of the way. Add in a keyframe. We see our rotation is as we expected it there. There's one more rotation mode and that's axis angle. 
This uses an angle and then an x, y, and a z to define the axis. This may work for some people, but I've found that if one of the Euler rotation modes doesn't work, quaternions will do the trick just fine. Just to review, most animators won't need to change from the default rotation mode XYZ Euler. This is best used for single axis rotation such as a wheel and even some two axis rotations. When you need something more advanced, try using quaternions. I want to show just one more trick here uh, to get around some of these rotation issues. So I'm going to add in a, an empty, make it a cube, select the rocket, select the cube, control P, so we, so we set the parent of the rocket to the empty. Now when we rotate our empty, the rocket follows. We can do some pretty cool stuff with this. But notice I'm in XYZ Euler again, the default mode. I'm going to press I, go to frame 96, and when I'm rotating the Z axis 720 degrees, so our rocket will rotate around twice. Press I again, now select our cube, go back to the beginning, press I, rotation, Let's go to frame 96, and this time rotate in the X direction 90 degrees. Press I. Let's go back to the beginning and watch it. So our rocket rotates in one direction, and our cube rotates in another direction. So this is kind of a neat way to get around some of these rotation issues. My name is Jared Owen. Thank you so much for watching this, and we'll see you next time.